it welcome to my video i'm gonna do an unboxing of my new coach duffel bag it should be in oxblood uh, i just went to go pick it up so uh, i'm just gonna speed through getting it out of this box and then we'll get right into it ow isn't she pretty Okay, so I'm gonna be going to sit on the floor over there, so this is gonna be turned around. Maybe, I might do it backwards. But yeah, let's get into this. So here in Canada, this bag is $5.50 on the website. Um, for Boxing Day, it was already 50% off, so it was $2.75, and then I got an additional 30% off the $2.75, and then after that, I got another 10% because of Ebates or Rakuten, so. I got a really good deal with this, with everything. It was 190 something dollars or whatever. So it was a great deal for Boxing Day. It's weird that it didn't come in a dust in the dust bag. Weird. I will be uh, providing pictures. This is actually perfect. I feel like it's smaller than the one that I'm currently using. So pretty. I can't believe I got a purple bag. God damn it, Shauna, you convincing me to do this? So there's a key thing right here that this is attached to. I don't know if you can see this. Shows the price, which I'll take a picture of. I will have plenty of pictures and close ups and whatnot. gonna take time to get it to be droopy but I think it's perfect oh, I love this hardware I will do mod shots and whatnot like once I've got it all put together and have stuff in it and all that
thanks for watching my video. These uh, next few minutes are just pictures and close-ups and whatnot, and I might throw in a what's in my bag at the end or what fits in my bag. For years now, I have been trying to find the bag. I had a favorite bag that was stolen out of my car years ago, and since then I have been trying and trying and trying to find the bag, one that I'll fall in love with, one that will replace the one that was stolen, and at the moment I would say this is it, but only time will tell. It is a beautiful bag though, so it could very well be it. After these pictures, I do have a video of what's in my bag and what could fit in the bag. So if you would like to continue watching, please do so. Otherwise, thank you for watching. So I had to make this clip silent because when I uploaded it to YouTube, it was copyrighted. Joy, because of the sound in the background. So I'm going to have to voice over this as much as I can, so enjoy, I guess. I'm just detaching the strap here so it doesn't get in my way. So I'm trying to show you here what it looks like on the inside of the bag, but it's a little too dark for you to see, which is unfortunate. I mean. Maybe in a future video I can get a better shot of the inside, but as you can see I'm just going to start pulling stuff out here. This is a phone case because I'm recording on my phone so I just put it in there to show you know what can fit in there. The pad, you know, we need them. My uh, eyeglasses case or my sunglasses case. My wallet. My keys. I do believe another pad at some point. Oh no! My straw first, and then another pad. And this is where I surprised myself by finding an iTunes card that I forgot I purchased earlier on in the day. Isn't that nice? At this point, I'm just talking about how smushy the bag is. Like, it's so smushy, it's not structured, which I love. I hate structured bags. So the fact that the bag can do this is just awesome for me. The next thing I'm going to show you here is my Michael Kors wallet. It is a large wallet. I think it's called the Continental, but I'm not 100% sure. Like, it's huge, and I just wanted to show you if it fits in the bag and, you know, the comparison in with my other wallet and, you know, whatnot. That's where I'm trying to go with this, you know. Does it fit in the bag? Now I'm going to take all of what I just put in out and then put my original stuff back in and then I chat a bit about how, you know, I could fit a lot more in the bag, but I'm not going to do that because 
I don't want it to stretch out, even if that's possible. I don't know if it's possible or not. I just, I don't know. I want to take care of the bag, right? Because it's such an expensive bag and it's just beautiful. At some point in the near future, I want to take my keys out of this and switch it over to a lanyard. So that way I can clip it to the inside of the bag when needed, so it's easier to find. The clip on the inside of the bag is a very strong button, so I think it'll be very handy to hold keys and, you know, be able to find them quicker. Anyway, I think that's about all I have to say about this bag in this video. Hopefully in the future, if or when I do another video, that background audio won't cause a copyright issue and this won't need to happen. It is what it is. Anyway, if you made it to the end, leave an avocado in the comments, but thanks for watching.